96-50 loss to Iowa. 28 turnovers in that game, a clean slate for this team. Williams gets a free look inside, and she puts it away. And that's that hustle player. That, that's a hustle, a, a bonus point for Wisconsin. We go back into Hart in the post of the hesitation. She's good with the hook shot. Higher, no good from long range. An extra possession courtesy of Hart. She will take it herself. Too strong off glass. She's zipping in is Leisinger. Two former walk-ons on the floor for Wisconsin, including Leisinger in the corner. Yes! Able to corral it, and the spin in a blink of an eye, she scores. It's a great job of not settling on that possession. But Deanna Jimenez out with an injury. They have not been 100% since before Christmas. Three to shoot for Porter. Oh, and she dishes it off to Schramick just in time. For Wisconsin, as she leads the team in, in minutes and almost rebounds. Maggie Sinano is blocked. Stand up defense from Schrammick. Went to a couple NCAA tournaments. Sinai Copeland slicing through the defense, but the Wisconsin native Ayanna Johnson says no. Braun trying to get free, and it's stolen. Copeland taking it away. Wisconsin is at their best when they move it around a little bit. Assisted. Assisted shots. Excellent angle by Johnson getting in to poke that away, then sprinting the floor. She gets the deep post up in just that easy. Minnesota needed that. Tend to shoot for Porter, who turns on the Jets and finds in the corner. Inside, Williams that time gets the angle. But, you know, it was a great game, game play, great strategy by Wisconsin because right now, as long as Ayanna Johnson is in the floor, then you... Uh, second in the Big Ten, rather fourth in the Big Ten in steals per game, but also the way she's guarded on the perimeter in this one against great gopher players. Hearts gets one more look at it and kisses it off. <laughs> you keep bringing up Ronnie Porter and it makes me smile every time. Such a great conversation with her today. Mar Braun takes it hard to the hole, and that's her first score from the field in this game. Minnesota trying to be physical, shooting 16% from the field, manufacturing some points with those shots not falling. Sierra Williams, nice touch on the turnaround. She has the perfect combination of size, skill, but athleticism, Sloan. Mallory Heyer drains the three, hoping to ignite this offense. You know what she's capable of when she gets hot. Including in that most recent win over Michigan State. Lob inside, Shramick high low. Beautifully done by the Badgers. And Heyer takes it instead. Graholski, range unlimited. It's a trickle-down effect. All it takes is for one of your teammates to knock it in, and then that gets you going, that gets you caught. This is, is near the top, because when you think about just how many players are on this roster that are actually from the two states involved, that you don't always get that in rivalry games. Yeah, it's pretty easy to have that happen with this group. Quickly in the corner, it is Grady sending it home. Right now, everything about this game, the pace, the scoring, it favors Wisconsin. Brady netting another three. But a fresh start out of the locker room. Excited to see how that would spark both of these teams with a new 20. Tonight, Copeland, she's feeling it to start, gets right to the rim. Seven turnovers at this point. Minnesota, just two. Braun setting her feet, and there gets it to go, her first three. We said at halftime that Minnesota needs Mara Braun to be efficient and score. She's second to Caitlin Clark in unassisted threes this season. She knows what to do. Graholski able to pick up the steal. She's, you know, trying to not pick through the positives there. That's a coach. That's just <laughs> such a coach. Play. Janae Sanders, good extension and a high finish off the glass. 
Douglas wants to go post up against Sanders. Instead, Schrammick still trying to find her stroke as well. Porter off the miss, streams the long range too. Not too bad. At some point, you've got to start putting her in the conversation as one of the best post players in the country. Brady knocking down the three. Tessa Grady has come up big, not just tonight, but in the last few games, but three big time threes. They go to Grady, a good look, and that is four. Tessa Grady, she's not from Minnesota or Wisconsin. She's the Ohio native, but she's getting in on this rival. A 10-point lead now. Groholski answers right back. Williams wants it, battling for position against Johnson, and battle in the passing lane finishes it off. Top and will be Minnesota ball. Maya Battle, you're not going to be able to just put, lob a cross-court pass. And it's really worked on her defensive game, reading off ball just like Coach Plitzewhite wants to see from her squad. Copeland is blocked. Krabulski is strong, hand in her face from Leisinger. Back in the hands of Battle, downhill speed and perfect off the glass once more. Porter. What a shot! Higher gets free. Gives it up to Braun instead with 10 to shoot. The turnaround. Wow! Mora Braun. Tramick wants it against Hart. The Gophers collapse and take it away. No numbers, but finds Groholski. Deep posts up for Hearts, and she puts it through. Great decision by Minnesota. They go back to Hearts, backs down Douglas, and another easy two. Yeah, you can't run through that screen. Working through traffic, Johnson's going to have to heave. It'll be Groholski getting it off in time for three. Wise beyond her years. Battle shuffles it off to Johnson, and it's snatched away by Copeland. What looked like an easy two now igniting Wisconsin in the half court. Williams, that pass led her at an easy finish. Williams looking for her long-range shot. Up to 21 points to go along with her 13 rebounds, one for one, and responding right back underneath is Minnesota, an Amaya battle. Patient through traffic finds Leisinger, the lefty. No good, but a clear path for Shramick. Raholski stands her ground. But it's going to be Wisconsin basketball. The Badgers have 10 on the clock. Williams putting the moves on the hearts. And she's got it right in the face. Putting on a show tonight. She's doing it inside. She's doing it on the glass. She's doing it on the defense. We're under two here at Pool Center. They go back to Williams. Great kick out to Grady, another three, and this one couldn't be bigger. One second left, Grady has to put it up, a shot block violation even with the timeout in between. Guarding Braun, and now she has three. Braun gets open, can't knock it down, here is higher, and that falls through. And that's what Mallory is. She's very steady. She's like, they call her the silent assassin. But she's been excellent on the glass as of late. Now, so that's what Minnesota does. They're very, very good. They score 12 points a game off, off second chance points. She's one of the rare 